Hi. In this short video, I'm going to show you how a travel agent searches and books a holiday. So on the screen in front of me, we've got a search screen and I'm going to put some dates in. So you just click on the drop down menu, select the dates you want to travel. So I'm going to search between the 1st of May and say the 12th of May. Duration, number of nights, I'm going to search for seven nights. So I'm just going to put seven nights in there. Departure airports, I'm going to put Manchester, which the code is M-A-N. And for this inquiry, we'll search for Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, which the code is S-S-H. Number of passengers is two. We'll leave that as it is. And then we'll click search. What's happening now is the system searching several tour operators. And in just a second, it will produce a list of results. Here we go. And you can see that it's got the dates of departure on the left hand side. It's got the name of the tour operator. The departure airport is Manchester. The arrival is Sharm in Egypt. Number of nights is seven. And then we've got across the top here, seven nights, self catering, one stroke, two star, two stroke, three star and three star plus. So I'm just going to put them all in order of three star and I'm going to select one line of Thomson, one line of Cosmos, and one line of Red Sea Holidays. I'm going to click Next. And what's happening now is the search is looking at those three tour operators and giving me more information about the resort and the hotel name and the price and the star rating and the board basis, which we can then put in price order. And um, this is a system we use for searching holidays and giving the information to the customer. So you can quote the customer various prices from here. Let's take an example. I'll choose a nice four star, say the Amaranti Garden Palms, that one there. AI means all inclusive, four star, and the price is five four five pounds. Now I can right click on this and view the brochure. And you'll see, no, I won't. that one doesn't work. I'll just select another one. Uh, the Grand in Sharm El Sheikh. This one's 559. So I'm going to view the brochure. Here we go. It gives you a brochure description of the hotel. It's got some nice images. So you can describe the accommodation, the hotel mm -hmm. to the customer. We'll close that down. And once I've decided that the customer likes that hotel, I've sold it to the customer, I can open up another box which brings up the number of rooms and the adults. I can then click, click on Go and this brings up a view data screen which connects through to the tour operator and puts the information in there. It then gives me the room types standard room, junior suite and a single room. So I'm going to select the number of rooms which is one and then I'm going to select four for data, two people and then what will happen next it will bring me up a costing screen and you'll see that the total price for two people is £1,118. If the customer then decides he wants to book I can click on reserve RES and go through the booking system and this is where I would then put the passenger names in title first initial and surname click through take the payment from the customer and then click confirm and basically that's how you search and book for a holiday using a search system and a view data hope that was helpful